guys, this is Nilu here with Heston and today I'm going to show you how to do a rotisserie chicken on your Heston Outdoor Grill. Your grill comes with these forks and it comes with the rod that goes on the rotisserie. So what I like to do is put one end of the chicken in one of the forks, put it on the rod and put the other end. And you can use this to tighten it once it gets on there. And that's very important. It keeps the chicken from flipping around when it's on the grill. Now we're gonna put this side in and then we're gonna tighten the forks onto the chicken. This side is gonna be a little bit easier just because it's already maneuvered. As you can see, it's in. And now we're gonna tighten these to make sure it's not moving around while it's cooking. So the side that's pointy always goes in here first, and then this sits right there. Now we're gonna turn the rotisserie burner on, and the way that works is a little bit different than the rest of the burners. You actually have to hold it in. You're gonna see a little glow. You're gonna turn the knob, and you're gonna keep holding it in, and then it will light. Once it's lit, you can go ahead and let go. And then you're gonna see the flame turn on. It takes a second see and then we're gonna go ahead and turn the rotisserie motor on and that's it so now that we have the burner on and the rotisserie going um, your grill is gonna come with a black broiler pan I like to line it with foil and go ahead and put it underneath the chicken and this is just gonna catch any drippings that fall during the cooking process so you don't have to clean up anything at the end and we're gonna go ahead and close the hood and let this cook for about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes I do want to mention, I don't turn any of the other burners on. I just use the rotisserie burner above the chicken and that gives plenty of heat to go ahead and cook the chicken thoroughly. Okay, so it's been about an hour and 15 minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and check the temperature of our chicken. As you can see, that caught all the grease. So this is super helpful to put underneath. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop the rotisserie motor, check the temperature easily. I have a thermometer. I'm just gonna stick it into the breast and it is almost there, uh, probably about another 10 minutes and then this will be ready to take off. We're gonna take it off and we're gonna let it rest for about 15 to 20 minutes. And I like to keep a pair of gloves outside just for the grill because this is super hot. Um, make sure you turn the rotisserie burner off and the rotisserie motor off. This tray also helps you carry it. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it here. Um, one thing I do like to do right away is take it off of the rod because when it's hot, it just comes off a lot easier. You can also take the forks off too right now. Um, it just, they come off easier when it's hot rather than when it's cold. Um, it's a trick I've learned. This chicken has been resting for about 20 minutes. Um, I had it covered with foil and we're gonna go ahead and carve it up. And as you can see, there is a lot of delicious chicken juice and drippings at the bottom. You are more than welcome to serve those with your chicken. Cut it down the middle and a sharp knife is super important for this and it makes it much, much easier. And there you go. We have our rotisserie chicken on your Heston Outdoor Grill. Enjoy.